Seth Gordy socks on, you know. <laughs> You're going to have to wing it. You have to just be the lips, not those. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Not a nip or a tuck amongst them. And I couldn't know. I, I felt quite anxious. I did. I am. Oh my God, what a bloody photographer. I am. You alright? I'm Kitty. Some of you might recognise me from the YouTube channel. <laughs> Not a single one of you. <laughs> Make it your business to go and have a look. There's bloody loads on there, isn't there, Jack? Yep. Hey, yeah. No, he doesn't even know what I'm asking just now. Not a clue. <laughs> Kitty Cassis. Kitty short for Catherine, that would be mother's name, the late mother. And if she were looking down at me now, she'd say, What are you doing? Throwing yourself around, a woman of your age. Give your head a wobble, Kitty. <laughs> I've got mum beef too. <laughs> okay. But she would be biggest fan, the harshest critic, and winner of uh, Cleethorpe's cleanest double step. 1976 to 1979. Now she missed out in 1980 to a rogue seagull shite just as the judges were coming round. She was bitch and twisted about that until the day that she died. She was, but that was me mother. Last time. Anyway, I'm Kitty Cassis. Cassis, like the dark, sweet, slightly sickly liqueur, which is only tolerable in very small doses. <laughs> Uh, Rita Fairclough, Ruby Wax, and Ziggy Stardust got locked in a house of Fraser Tom the Cubicle overnight with a bottle of poppers. <laughs> I would have heard on the Monday morning, I don't know what the gestation period would be, but it would be a bloody party, wouldn't it? Hey, what's your name? You look fabulous. Rosa! Oh my god, you're gorgeous! And that print, well, it's a leopard print for me, and I can see some of it, and it's turning me on. Okay, it's getting me going because, listen, I, I'm a beautician by trade. As you can see, I've gone for a very natural look. <laughs> Light contouring, flush tones, belly there is what I call this look. <laughs> yes, I'm an astrologist to the A-list, beautician to the B-list, clairvoyant to the C-list, drug dealer to the D-list. <laughs> if you need out, Rosie, from amphetamines to the bar, Come and see me. <laughs> I brought my vanity one with wheels on. Got loads in there, you get loads in there. I was Bobby Davro's main bon jelly dealer. <laughs> Before I went over the counter, these embryos won't remember that. Do you remember? <laughs> you used to be able to, no, you had to get it on the screen, but I could get some. Bobby Davro, he'd have a mouth full of ulcers, walk back two tunes with the office head, some broken biscuits. Can't talk about it because I signed a DNA. <laughs> Sophia, what a gorgeous 
just name and you go on just but what what's your setup? Do you live would you got neighbours? <laughs> Have you got parcels? <laughs> she sells your parcels! Does she? Oh my god. What are your deliveries? Yeah. Are you for real now? Oh my god! <laughs> oh god, but Brian's quite a small place, so someone's quite no someone we can't talk about it. <laughs> Oh my god, we're getting to big trouble, won't we? Oh dear. And we do it. We've got any single people here tonight? Woo! Yeah, have we? Have we got any single men who are interested in women or women who are interested in women? Because I would just like to tell you about my neighbour, Edna. <laughs> Anybody who is interested, she's 87, but looks 60 on the gouging horns due to the uh, amount of experimental beauty treatments that I've done on her. Okay, she, I've lifted her lips and she's got permanent cosmetic tattooing. So she looks, I mean, permanently startled, but she looks great. Okay. She should do backing vocal, vocals for Kajagoogoo. <laughs> I mean, she's got that big clit energy. <laughs> Oh, they're going for it. People are turning. They've never had any interest. They've never been by curious, but all of a sudden Edna's opened up the floodgates. I'll bring her down next time. I will. Bloody hell, you look gorgeous. Isn't it great? Isn't it great to be back? Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. Um, listen, anybody locked down with the power? And I, do you know what? My heart will ever you when you're telling your story. <laughs> oh. I've been married to my husband date for 25 years. Okay. Sometimes I think back and I wonder how much say I had in the matter. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? We didn't have stuff like coercive control, <laughs> stalking, <laughs> harassment back in those days. He just waited outside my place of work with a bottle of milk tray for 17 consecutive nights. <laughs> Despite you saying that I preferred black magic. <laughs> and I'm just, uh, we're still together now, but over oh, lockdown, there were times and. Who was cohabiting during lockdown? Do you have a show of hands? Uh, oh, it were hard, wasn't it? <laughs> and there were times, there were times when he was in the same room as me. Sniffing, chewing, <laughs> shifting his weight from foot to foot. Jingling his change in his pocket. Breathing. <laughs> <laughs> and my hand would hover over that knife block rover. And I would question my life choice. <laughs> I would. Would I be that much worse off on Romandy Wigan? <laughs> I'd get all my meals made for me, wouldn't I? Hey, do you know what I mean, Gloria? We deserve a medal, don't we? Hey, we do. We do deserve a medal, and it's been hard, but we're coming out of it, apparently. But I don't know. Do you know what? What I've got is full faith in this bloody government. <laughs> Twitch back there, or maybe Jack having a stroke. I'm not sure. <laughs> Listen, it's a beauty treatment that I've got for you. You don't need to go out and spend thousands on, on procedures. All right, just follow me. Follow me, YouTube channel. Okay. I'm going to tell you now. Right. So, over the summer, we've not had much sun, have we? We've oh, been a bit pasty. Yeah, been a bit pasty, aren't we? Not you! I didn't mean to look at you when I was. Pretty awkward. <laughs> Ivory, gorgeous. But you just want to have a bit of a glow up. Alright, what are you going to do? You're going to... You, you can do everything from the contents of your home, is what I'm saying. Right, so consult that cupboard under the kitchen. Uh, under the kitchen sink. And, and get out the uh, dishwasher salts. Alright. Maybe that uh, table in the kitchen's got all crap in it. And a toolbox. You got a toolbox at home? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. yeah. And your toolbox is cracking at the same time, is it? <laughs> Is it dead organised? It is, bloody hell. That old day would love to have a chat with me. <laughs> so anyway, you get everything now. What we're going to do is, um, first of all, get your dishwasher salt and put those into a pestle and mortar. Just get it all over your body, alright? And really take off that top layer of epidermis. It's an exfoliation salt. Yeah, with the dishwasher salt, she's questioning it. She, she's not sure. She's having to... Are you sure, Kitty? Yes. Because these are tried and tested methods all over your body. Maybe be careful of your ball 
smaller, because I think that might stick a bit. Um, what we're going to do is put that all on, because you want to take off that... You, if it's not going to burn, it's not worth it. Okay. That's my motto. That's my motto. All right. Next, obviously, scuff that off. And then what you're going to do is collect all your tea bags from the last three months. <laughs> like the, last, the, 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 uh, the last row is zoning out a bit now. Get your pen and paper out and write this down. Mark my words, all right? You, you want your, your tea bags from the last three months. You're going to empty the contents of your tea bags from the last three months into another pestle and mortar and make up a tincture. Okay, an oxo cube in there, maybe some sesame oil. <laughs> She's got me now, maybe some spam. That always lifts up, that lifts up the tones a little bit. And then you're going to smear that all over your body. She knows where I'm going with it. And you're going to keep that on for about three days. <laughs> Yeah, we're cooking on gas now. <laughs> Bloody hell. And then you're going to shower that off and you're going to emerge from your bathroom. And people will have questions like, how did you get to Tormelinos? How, how did you get to Barbados? How did you jump through those bureaucratic hoops? And, and, to get, and you'll go, no, I've been following Kitty's routine. Now, if they get close to you, they might say, it's a bit gamey. <laughs> Blame it on the drains, that's what I do. Just blame it on the drains and walk away. Do you know what? You have been gorgeous. Very yeah. gorgeous. Am I? Oh my god! Yeah. Listen, from the bottom of my colonics to the tip of the acrylics, oh. I have been Kitty Cassis and you have been gorgeous.